everyone, it's Sunday, and we have a very special lesson today that sometimes makes my heart a little sad. So, I have a very special guest who came all the way from California, and she flew on a very big airplane, and she came to encourage me. Well, did you, do you know our Bible verse for this month? I know the Bible verse. Wow. 1 Thessalonians 5, 11, where it says to encourage one another and build each other up. So this is my sister and her name is Cecil and she has come to be an encouragement to me. Isn't that wonderful? I think that's just the best present ever. So we are going to have our worship time and then our lesson time and then we'll have another song, okay? So can you say goodbye, Cecil? Bye! Have a great Sunday and enjoy the worship song. All right, see you soon.
Well, our lesson today is all about Jesus. Jesus. You know why we do that? Because Jesus died on the cross and he had nails in his hands. And we point to that and that's Jesus. It's all about Jesus. You know, Jesus was very obedient and that meant he followed the instructions of God the Father. Well, Jesus was just starting his ministry after his baptism and it came time for him to have a test. How many of you have had tests before? You get ear tests at the doctor. Maybe you get a test about if you know your alphabet or your numbers or your multiplication tables. We get tested on what we know. Um, you know when you drive a car, you have to have a test. Somebody gives you a test to see if you can actually drive a car and follow the rules. Well, so Jesus went through three tests. Okay, so you have to remember that. He went through three tests. Jesus went through three tests. And you know who was testing him? It was kind of sad. This is what, what I was talking about earlier, that Jesus was tested by Satan. He was the devil. And so the devil came, Satan came, and tested Jesus. He wanted to see if Jesus was going to follow what God wanted him to do. He wanted to see if Jesus was going to cheat even just a little bit if he was going to cheat and you know what i am happy to tell you that jesus did it but we're going to talk about all three of the tests sometimes the tests are called temptations so jesus was tempted three times or tested three times so we're going to open our bibles to matthew chapter 4 where it says jesus was led up by the spirit the holy spirit to the wilderness to be tempted or tested by the devil. Jesus was very hungry because he didn't have any food for 40 days or 40 nights. So here comes the devil. The tempter came and said to him, if you are the son of God or God's son, remember Jesus was hungry. He says, he says, make this, these stones into bread. He says, command these stones become bread. Oh, look at this rock. Imagine if this rock, I could say, okay, become bread. Or I could pick up another rock and say, okay, I become bread. And what if I said, okay, here's a rock, become bread. And it became like a piece of bread. And Jesus then could eat it and not be hungry. Would that be right? Would that be right? What do you think? that Satan was tempting Jesus on. He was going, he was trying to see if Jesus was going to follow what the devil wanted or follow what God the Father wanted. So you know what Jesus did? He used the sword of the spirit and he said, man shall not live by bread alone. That means not only are we just not, we can eat bread, yes, but he says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. How are we gonna learn that? It's right here in the Bible. When we read our Bibles, we are reading God's word and God's instructions. And it says here that that's going to help us and feed us. See, Bella's kind of looking at my food because you know what? This bread smells awfully good and I'm sure that Jesus would have loved to have a piece of bread but he was obedient to God and didn't eat the bread. All right, are you ready for testing or temptation number two? All right, we're gonna move on to another place. Now, Mrs. Pablo doesn't have a really high place to go to, so we're gonna go um, underneath the vine. All right, so we're gonna go underneath the vine. Let's, come on this way, come on. We're gonna follow and we're going to go underneath the vine and we're going to find out what test number two or what was the other word temptation number two is i am bringing my bread along because i don't want some animal to eat the bread they might not like it all right so we'll stop right here and we'll pretend we'll pretend that we're on a really high peak because it says here the devil took Jesus up into the holy city like the church and set him on the top of the temple 
and he said, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down, like as if I climbed up on here and fell over. And he said here, he says here, if you are the son of God, throw yourself down. And he says, your, his angels will rescue you or uh, they will, they will pick you up. They will catch you before you hit the ground. So it's kind of like having a protector, right? The angels are supposed to protect Jesus. So they're supposed to guard him from all of the evil. But Jesus said, even though I am very sure that if Jesus fell off that place, that God the Father would have sent his angels. But he says here, it is written, you shall not tempt the Lord your God. But what if you said to your mom and dad, I'm gonna climb up on here, I'm gonna just jump. I don't care if I get hurt. That's terrible because your mom and dad might not be able to catch you, right? And that's what the devil was trying to get Jesus to do, to jump. And then he was, then God would have to go, God the Father would have to go and rescue him, right? He would have to go rescue him from the evil. That's terrible. Now, if you fall by accident, well, that's a little bit different, but this was no accident because Jesus was being tempted or tested to make God do something that he shouldn't have to do. You shouldn't be foolish by jumping off things like that. That's what the devil wanted him to do. All right, where that was temptation or test number two. Remember test, test number one, the devil wanted Jesus to turn the what? Right, the bread, excuse me, the rocks into what? Bread, because Jesus was hungry. He hadn't had food for 40 days or 40 nights. The second test was the devil wanted him to throw himself off of a high place, the highest part of the, the church where the, the, the angels would have to rescue him. Now we're going on to the third temptation. All right, now again, I do not have a very high mountain here in my backyard, but we're gonna go someplace high anyway, okay? Follow me. All right, we're gonna go up and we're gonna climb some steps and go up. Oh, we are going a little higher. Whoa, we are going higher. Whoa. And then we're gonna even go even higher, even higher. Let's see. Oh, hold on. I dropped something. We're gonna go even higher. Let's talk about, oh, ooh, it's kind of scary up here. Oh, it's wiggly. Okay, I'm really high now, aren't I? So the devil said to Jesus, if, if you bow down to me, I'm going to give you all the world. Can you imagine Jesus? The devil took Jesus to a very high place and he says, if you would bow down and worship me, the devil, I will give you all the kingdoms all the kingdoms because from their place on the highest mountain they could see so many kingdoms and the devil says if you just bow down to me and make me your king then he says he says i will give you all these things and you can be king of the world do you think he was telling the truth absolutely not it says here in the Bible, so Jesus used God's word to fight off the devil. He said, you shall worship the Lord your God and only him you shall serve. Can you imagine that? You're not supposed to worship the devil or anybody else. You're only supposed to worship God. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. So Jesus had three tests or three temptations. The first one was to turn what? Rocks into bread, very good. The second one was that God would have to rescue Jesus because Jesus would just throw himself off of a high place in the church. And the third one was, the third one was if Jesus would just worship the devil that the devil could give him all of the world. But that's not that's not right because God is the ruler of all the world, not the devil. So if Jesus had bowed down and worshiped 
the devil, he would have told God that he did not believe in him. Mrs. Papa would love, loves to believe in Jesus, loves to believe in God, and puts God first. That's what I want for you. All right. Well, that's our lesson for today from Matthew chapter 4. I hope that you take time to read it sometime. So before I climb down off of my very high ladder here, I'm going to pray, and then our lesson will be done for the day. And then we'll have our Bible verse and our last song and a special goodbye, okay? Dear God, thank you for the lessons that we learned from Jesus having three tests. We know that we get tested all the time. And what Jesus used was your word to protect himself. He said you should only worship the Lord your God. You should not tempt God and God's word should be your food, that we should not live by bread alone. Thank you for those lessons. I pray for all of the kids out there that they would put you first and obey you. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, stick around for another worship song and our Bible verse. Good practice, okay? See you in the next video. Hi, everyone. You know, after I came off the ladder, I realized that I hadn't told you the rest of the story. That after Jesus passed the three tests, the one with the bread, the man shall not live by bread alone. Number two, that you shouldn't tempt God. And number three, that you should worship God only. That after he passed all three tests, that the devil left him. He just left him. And then a wonderful thing happened. God sent his angels to minister to Jesus. They fed him and they wrapped him probably in a wonderful coat so that he wouldn't be so tired and then let him rest. They watched over him while he rested. And so I just want to just, I didn't want to leave that part of the story out because that was probably one of the best parts that God the Father loved Jesus so much that he sent his angels to minister to Jesus after he passed his test. He was obedient and God loved on him. But you know, even when you're disobedient, God still loves you, but he certainly would love it if you would say you're sorry and then that you would start obeying God, just like Jesus did. All right, you can do this, right? We're building each other up. All right, time for the next video. Hi everyone, it's memory verse time. I hope you've been practicing all week long. You know, God has put so much into my life this week that I've had to practice this verse. So I really hope that you're doing the same thing because I am very sure that God's going to use um, this verse in your life this week. Okay, so let's just start from the top and we'll read it first and then we'll do the hand motions. It's 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Now, Thessalonians is a really hard name of a book of the Bible to say, Thessalonians. So you have to put your, your tongue between your teeth, Thessalonians. Okay, so we'll start. 1 Thessalonians 5.11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. I sure wish you were here because I could ask you what this verse is there for because it says it's there for something, right? It's there for what Paul said at the beginning of this chapter. But we really don't have a lot of time to do that again. So if you want to watch that again and you want to learn about it, you can always watch the other video, okay? So let's do it together. Remember what we do is we say the reference and first, and then we'll say it at the end, even though I didn't write it down here. It'll be the first and the last. And I hope you remember the hand motions, but we'll do it again. We'll do it. We'll do it a couple of times. Okay, ready, go. First Thessalonians 5, 11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as, in fact, you are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5.11. All right. How many of you got that the first time? If you did, well done. 
You can do it. We're gonna build each other up that way. You can do it. All right, we're gonna do it one more time and then we'll stop for the day and I hope you practice it the rest of the week. First Thessalonians 5.11. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up just as in fact you are doing. First Thessalonians 5.11. All right. We'll see you again next week. Remember, we only have a couple of more Sundays after this to practice this verse, so you've got to practice it. And I'm sure God is going to use it in your life this week. Okay, see you next time. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Pablo and her sister, Cecile. Well, I am so glad that she got to visit me and that she got to be part of our lesson today. So you see our Mr. Owl in the background? We hope that you are as wise as Mr. Owl and that you would follow what Jesus wants for you to do this week. Every week is a special week and every day is a special day as long as you have God in your life. So that is our prayer for you this week. Isn't that right? It is. I think they can do it. Do you? They can do a great job. I think so too. Okay. See you next time. Bye. We live in a great big world that needs to hear about a great big love. We need to tell the story to every little boy and girl. We gotta go. Every little